With Americans spending over $1.6 billion a year on the industry and over 45 million Americans having tattoos, it's become a pretty common thing to get inked up. And today, we're becoming another one of those people. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm getting my first tattoo. When most people think about tattoos, they think about big, strong men who ride motorcycles. And that is exactly why I have tattoos. Yeah, I can't really make that joke, but I do have an anchor on my wrist and a piece on my thigh. The anchor was a tribute to my love for the ocean and the piece on my thigh was a spur of the moment decision in Costa Rica. I was traveling there with my siblings and I wanted a piece to remember the trip. But that leads us to an important question. Why do people get tattoos? So I think some people get tattoos just for the sake of doing them and some people like me in this instance have long drawn out things that they've thought about forever and want that permanence. Regardless of whether there's meaning behind it or not, tattoos have been around for centuries. The first documented tattoo actually belonged to Otzi the Iceman, and he died around 3300 BC. This practice spans across many different cultures. Many countries in the Middle East and surrounding areas will use henna tattoos as a form of celebration, while places like the Samoan Islands will use it to symbolize their heritage. There's one thing that all of these tattoos have in common though, pain. And I've pushed it off for reason after reason. The main reason being that I'm really scared it's gonna hurt really bad. So we decided to call in someone who could give us just a little bit of reassurance. Yo. I'm scared it's gonna hurt. Um, it doesn't hurt that bad. It's just like if someone like pressed a tent into your skin really hard. Someone told me it feels like a thousand bee stings. Which I was like, Who said that? <laughs> Google. <laughs> That's like biblical. My grandma, I think like many grandmothers, is just getting a lot older and her health is not where it used to be. So we don't know how many more experiences we will get to have with her. And so this is something I want to make sure that I do. So I've like literally been fumbling around Nashville to find someone to tattoo me. Hi, I just got a phone call from this number. Yeah, uh, we were just calling to say um, our artist Bryce that you would say. Oh, awesome. What time? Uh, as soon as it can be here, um, he has time with today. I'm scared. She calls me her goody goody, but I wanted instead for it to say, oh goody, because she says that a lot. Like she'll be like, oh goody, like whenever something happens. And that feels like just a cute saying she says. And with that, we were off. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's go. My arm is easily removable. Wait, what? Your arm. From this jacket. I think I'm gonna get it right here. Here's the thing is, three minutes. Live right next door to the tattoo place. My heart. I'm scared, but I'm doing this for my grandma. I love Peggy Jean. I love that woman more than life itself. Cool. Let's do this. Oh, goody. How long do you think it's going to take? 45 minutes. Um, is this going to work? Yeah. And it's an excuse to talk about someone I love, so. That's what matters. Yeah.